Hello, hello, and uh, good evening. This is, it's been a while since I've gone live, um, so um, it's nice to be back. Um, before I dive in, there goes my phone, of course, this always happens. Um, before I dive in, I'm just gonna check that I am live. Um, there I am, excellent. Um, so, today um, I'm gonna chat to you hello, all. Hello. Oh, no, uh, good evening. This Stop. is, it's been a while when you check that you're live and then suddenly you hear yourself a few seconds ago being live. Um, so uh, I'm gonna be chatting to you all about Facebook business pages and whether you need them. Um, if you're um, like me, uh, you will constantly be seeing, um, you know, um, people say things like Facebook pages are dead, um, you know, Facebook groups is where it's at, um, people claiming, you know, just use your personal profile to build your business, that's much more effective. Um, so what's a girl to do? How are you supposed to know um, what on earth is best and whether in fact you should even bother with a Facebook business page? Well, I am going to be diving into all of that um, in tonight's session. Um, so first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Colette Broomhead, um, as this page name suggests, and I am a, um, a social strategist, which basically means I help businesses um, grow using the power of social media um, and great content and um, yeah that's me <laughs> hello um, if you are watching this live give me a hello if you're watching this in the replay um, give me a hashtag replay um, it's really really lovely for me um, to get some interaction um, it um, it's lovely to see that people are watching um, it really does help me but also um, it helps um, other people to see this video because it tells the Facebook algorithm um, that people are watching and that they should show it to more people so you really are helping me um, if you give me a, you know um, a hello a comment a like anything like that and of course if you know anyone who you think this would be helpful for then please do share it. If you have a page with an audience of people who would find this content helpful, share it there. Um, if you have friends um, who are business owners, um, then do share it on your personal profile because it all, all helps. Okay, so let's dive into all things Facebook business pages. Um, so first of all, let's answer the question, do you need a business page for your business? Um, and the answer is definitively yes. Yes, you do. Um, and let me give you some reasons why. Um, first of all, um, well, let's talk about Facebook in general. Why should you be on Facebook? You should be on Facebook because just about everyone else is. Um, the chances are, there is a very, very low chance that you don't have your ideal clients, you tar your target market on Facebook. Pretty much everyone is on Facebook and your target market are on Facebook too. And they're spending an awful lot of time there because let's face it, we all do. Um, so you should be on Facebook, definitely. Um, why a Facebook page? Well, a Facebook, pa Facebook page are there specifically for businesses. Um, they have various um, benefits that your personal profile just doesn't have um, and that groups just don't have. Um, your personal page, um, you have access to your insights, to your analytics, and this gives you really, really valuable um, insights into your um, audience, um, into your competitors, um, and into your overall um, performance so that you can um, analyze that information and grow faster and um, create better content, um, post at more relevant times for your audience, um, target more relevant people um, for your business. Um, there is so much that you can get from your analytics. It's absolutely worth having a, a business page just for that. Um, another um, thing that you can only do with a business page is advertising. So while you may not be advertising yet with your business, um, if you ever want to, you will need a Facebook page because at the moment you can only advertise advertise with a page. By the way, apologies for my kind of a nasal sounding voice at the moment. I am absolutely full of head cold at the moment. It's driving me mad. Um, so um, I'm sorry if I sound a bit. Mm. Um, so yes, you do need a page. You need a page for its analytics. You need a page for the ability to advertise on Facebook. 
Why else do you need a page? You need a page in order to promote your business because actually the Facebook terms and conditions very clearly state that you cannot and should not do that on your personal profile. Um, and if you do, you run the risk of having your account shut down and no one wants that. Um, so um, yes, you do need a business page. Now let's talk a little bit about personal profiles and let's talk a little bit about Facebook groups and where they all fit in um, because they all have a place um, and they all have a purpose when it comes to your business. So let's go back to your personal profile. Um, yes, it absolutely can be used um, to grow your business. Um, what it must not be used for is to promote. Um, and if you are seen doing that too much, Facebook will close your account down. Um, so um, you shouldn't be using your personal profile to promote. You shouldn't be using it. You certainly shouldn't be using it to sell. Um, but what you can use it for is relationship building. You can use it to, you know, um, interact with people and to um, find, you know, uh, um, ideal clients and to interact with them and so on and so forth. Um, so, yes, um, you can use your personal profile. Um, you don't have to. Some business you know, owners don't like to. They want to keep their personal profile um, entirely private. And of course, that's up to you. Um, but yes, it absolutely can be a valuable tool um, when it comes to growing your business, but not for promoting your business and not for selling. Um, so um, so that's your personal profile. Now let's talk about Facebook groups. Um, I often see people asking, um, do I need a Facebook page or a Facebook group? Which one is best? And um, I've addressed this a few times before, but in case you haven't seen that, um, this that's not the question that you should be ask, asking. The, the fact is, Facebook pages and Facebook groups do very different things. Um, so a Facebook page is absolutely brilliant for reaching your target market, for reaching new people. If you think of um, getting people to buy from you as a journey, the first step of that journey is that they need to know that you exist. Um, they need to know that your business is there. Um, and a Facebook, pillar, a Facebook page is really helpful for that. Um, it's a great way for you to reach um, new people and to get your business in front of the of, of your target market okay um, and there are a number of ways that you can do that Facebook lives for example um, is one great way um, but the, the fact is your Facebook page um, can be seen by more than just the people who like that page and the more engagement that you have on your page the more people Facebook will show your posts to and so it is a great way for gradually reaching out um, and getting in front of new audiences Facebook groups, on the other hand, um, they are not so good at that because generally speaking, a group will be closed. For the most part, when someone joins a group, they want that group to be closed and they see it as more of a, a closed community. It's a place where they can um, perhaps share more than they might do um, on their own personal profile um, or, or certainly on, on a business page. Um, and so um, for many businesses, it's important to have that kind of closed element because that's what um, people will join for, um, for that kind of more close-knit community. Um, but what that does mean is you aren't going to reach um, as many people with your posts because only people inside that group will see them. Um, so it's not so good for you know reaching that wider audience. However, what groups are great for is that relationship building, building trust, building community, um, because you get all of that inside a closed group um, and you won't necessarily get that um, on a phage, on a phage, <laughs> my poor adult brain, my poor adult cold filled brain. Uh, you won't necessarily get that on a page. While that you certainly can do elements of community building on a page, um, it's so much easier and, and more fun inside a Facebook group. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, give me a shout. I'm just going to go and check because I never completely trust um, be live um, to um, show me um, all the um, comments that are happening. Okay, 
I think we're, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Okay. So um, if you're watching this in the replay and you have any questions, um, give me a shout. Um, pop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, but in a nutshell, um, yes, you do need a business page for your business. Um, you will get fabulous insights and analytics that will help you to grow, that will help you to create better content. Um, you will get access to Facebook advertising, um, which is a you know brilliant way to scale your business. Um, and um, you will get um, also lots of other little features that aren't available um, on the other kind of uh, Facebook um, kind of groups or, or profiles. Things um, like um, even polls. You, you can have a poll in groups, but it's different to the poll you'll get in pages. Um, and there are various bits and bobs that you can do with pages that you can't do elsewhere. So if you haven't got a business page, get one set up. Do it now. Um, if you're not sure how, reach out. I'd be happy to help. Um, but yes, you absolutely do need a Facebook business page for your business. Now, before I go, um, if there are two things I wanted to tell you about, um, first of all, is a new Facebook page that I've just started um, and a Facebook group. Um, and that is a page and group for UK based social media managers. Um, if that's you, I would love to invite you. Um, it is called UK Social Media Managers. Um, and um, you can search for it, or if you can't find it, I can pop a link um, in the comments. And um, please do go over give the page a like join the group um, I'm hoping to create a real kind of hub um, for UK social media managers because there doesn't really seem to be one um, which is surprising but anyway so yeah if that's you come along and join us um, the second thing I wanted to tell you about is a free little gift that I have for all of you um, which is a um, cheat sheet of conversation starters 31 conversation starters that you can use on social media you can use them on your Facebook page you can use them in your Facebook group and they will help you to boost your engagement. Um, I've used these myself, I know they work um, and they get people talking, they get that engagement going um, and that is what Facebook, uh, Facebook's algorithm loves and gets it showing um, all of your stuff to more people. So if you would like those um, conversation starters, um, they are in the, I will put a link below um, in the comments where you can um, grab your copy. They're completely free. Um, they're pretty much plug and play. And uh, like I say, they work on pages, they work in groups, um, and they will really start to get your engagement going. Hey to the people watching live, lovely to see you. Um, you've you just come at the end unfortunately um, but the replay of course will be um, available um, so um, do check out the replay uh, lovely to see you all have a great evening and I shall speak to you again soon take care